In someone who's narrow, the diaphragm is stuck so low that it pulls the ribs together. So should that person have his ISA even narrower upon inhalation? Because the diaphragm moves down even further. Typically, I can see the narrows can expand their bucket handle during inhalation. Awesome question. So let's talk about what Mikhail's talking about. With a narrow infrasternal angle, because of the shape of their ventral cavity, their diaphragm actually descends significantly farther than a wide infrasternal angle. If the diaphragm descends towards flat, the diaphragm changes its line of pull on the lower rib cage, and it actually causes the lower rib cage to bow inward. This is going to give leverage to the external obliques, which is what creates the narrowing of the infrasternal angle. So what Mikhail's asking is, well, Zach, shouldn't we actually see the, the narrowness close even further during inhalation? If you're dealing with compensatory mechanics and you're not coaching the stack as we talked about before, yeah, you can actually see that. This is where paradoxical breathing can come into play, where you see a mismatch of the, uh, of the, uh, the breathing sequence. Now, one thing that you're seeing that you mentioned is um, I actually see narrows who can bucket handle. I want to tell you, Mikhail, that chances are that person is a dirty liar and cannot be trusted. And I have this one girl. She's going to know if she's tuning into this. I have this one girl who stands out. She was at my uh, San Antonio Human Matrix. And people were measuring her. And they're like, Zach, you've got to check this out. And her bucket handle, I measured her ISA, and it was narrow. And her bucket handle would go like whew, crazy out, and then it would go crazy in, and it would do so very quickly. And I said, huh, that's interesting. And so I, what I did was I measured a lot of her other measures, and she was restricted. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what you're doing. I put her in quadruped to see if she could get the stack, and she failed miserably. What I, she ended up doing, and I rechecked her infrasternal angle, I put my hand on her upper back, and when she breathed in, what she did was she, pow, compressed her upper back into the ground as hard as she possibly could. And what that did was that arched her back enough that it gave like a pseudo bucket handle positioning. So really what she was doing was she arched her back and utilized superficial musculature to pull the rib cage in a funky manner. And she couldn't maintain the stack position during um, a challenging exercise like quadruped. So she's a liar. I'm just kidding, homegirl. You know I care about you. A lot of times with these people, you can't just hang your hat on the infrasternal angle presentation. You have to look at other measures to see if they have dynamics or not. If it looks like they have dynamics, but they don't have, they're very limited in other measures, I, I wouldn't hang my hat on that. What you have to do with a narrow ISA is you have to create an ascended diaphragm as much as humanly possible. And that's why the full, slow, open mouth exhale is so useful. It's useful because if you did a hard exhale, what would happen is because the external obliques have leverage is they would just compress the rib cage even further and you wouldn't get the diaphragm to ascend adequately, which is going to limit your expansion capabilities throughout the ventral cavity. If I do a slow, controlled exhale, where I don't get much recruitment of the external obliques, then I have the potential to allow the diaphragm to fully ascend, giving me the possibility of restoring the normal respiratory mechanism and allowing full movement options to be accessed. And that's the key with narrow ISAs. You got to be careful, especially if they have some degree of eccentric bias. They can do a lot of crazy cheats. Don't trust it if you see good bucket handle dynamics because you still probably have to work on the stack. And if you're unsure, put them in a position like quadruped or something that's challenging. See if they can stack. If they can't, then you can bet your bottom dollar that they are likely cheating the tests in some way, shape, or form, and maybe your test is actually that position.